Hi guys, Bargain Store Projects. This one, a little bit of a twist this time. Normally I take an item and use it for a purpose it was not intended for. But today I'm going to take an item and use it for exactly what it was intended for, more or less. Got a couple of these nice nine LED torches, which are quite bright, but you will notice the one on the left has a bit of an iffy switch. There we go, it does work, but not very well. So rather than fuss around trying to sort out the switch, which is only a little push button thing hidden under a rubber, soft rubber top here, rather than worry about trying to fix it, I'm going to take the 9 LED assembly out and stick it in this torch. This one should have one of those big square um, batteries in it. And it fills up that in, entire space in there. And what I'm going to do is take this assembly apart, hot glue the 9 LED assembly in the middle of the reflector, wire it up so that I can still use the same batteries. It's a nice little battery pack that uses three AAA batteries. So I'm going to sit that in there somewhere, run some wires from it to the switch and to the LEDs and see if we can use this torch. I'm pretty sure the bulb in there is actually gone and rather than fuss trying to find one of those old-fashioned bulbs I'm just going to do this as a bodge. Right, the LED array in here is just a push fit up inside. So there we are, there's our LEDs. What they've actually done is they've connected one side of the LED, common them all up in the middle, and the other leg of the LEDs are all bent out so that they're touching the inside of the casing. So that's how they make contact. So when I, when I want to use these in here, I'm going to have to connect all those legs up together and run a bit of wire through the reflector. Now, it's only a plastic reflector, so if necessary I can probably drill a hole in it, but I probably don't need to do that. see maybe one little hole so I, so I can run a bit of wire through to connect up all these legs. Alright there we go I've connected all the legs around the outside to one wire and connected the central point to the other wire. So that will fit into my reflector just hot glue it in place. What I'll do is I'll drop a lump of hot glue down in there. Right, there we are. I've soldered the wires onto the battery pack. Soldered them into the switch. So now there we go. Put it all back together probably put a bit of um, double-sided tape or something on there just to stop it rattling around in there. Or I could wrap it in some foam I suppose. Right, I've just wrapped it in some packing foam. Just 
so it's in there out the way. The idea wasn't to make a super bright light or anything, this was just to reuse this ancient battery torch and save trying to mend the on off switch that was in that original torch. Well I'd like to do some comparisons between the two torches. Um, Trouble is it's not very dark and my camera does auto colour balance anyway or brightness balance or whatever. So if I turn the little one on, wait for the camera to normalise itself and then try the other one. Certainly we seem to get a broader and sharper beam which I suppose is logical because we've got a nice big reflector behind it. If you're wondering, I have also done exactly the same thing with one of these 24 LED lights in this torch. So it's quite an easy job to do.